And now, I'm so excited to introduce our headliner. You may have gotten a glimpse of her when she was speaking out for trans rights at the latest, most recent LGBTQ town hall, where the presidential candidates were vying for our attention. And you definitely heard her voice on the official song of We're Here on HBO, which just got picked up for season two. Congratulations. (laughs) I give you, and this is going to be a very special experience, our headliner, the very first headliner of the Black Queer Town Hall, Ms. Shia Diamond. Hello, I'm Shia Diamond, and I'm doing three songs for the Black Queer Town Hall. The three songs I chose today are American Pie, I Am Her, and Don't Shoot. Well, as I was putting together my EP, I wanted it to be a collection of songs that were important not only to me, but to my, also to my community. Songs that spoke about identity, about truth, about the deaths and the lives that we live and you know us and how we suffer you know in silence the first song i wrote is called don't shoot i wrote that song about my life story it talks about my growing up uh, my incarceration it talks about me being in foster care it talks about my life and me having enough and needing to get away from living the the lie or being forced into a gender role that I didn't agree with. Um, It talks about my incarceration and it talks about my life now in the success that I never thought I would be able to obtain, that people said I would never be able to make it because of my incarceration. I would never be able to make it because of my transness, because of my blackness. And this story tells that. Don't Shoot speaks about the black and brown bodies that are being killed, especially trans. Well, I don't feel uncomfortable talking about the black trans murders. It's just, the thing is, is I feel like we talk about them so much, but we don't do enough about them. And so we leave this open wound for people and they just hear constantly, every day there's a black trans woman being murdered, every single day, and it's violently killed. And so, we're still trying to fight, fight for basic rights. And I don't feel like people are as outraged about the black life when it so happens to be trans. And so I do come from a, a place of, 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 of just holding this and or harboring this, this unspoken thing that I don't even speak about myself that I feel so enraged and outraged by just my own community that they don't see me, they don't see my life, they don't see the good that I do. It's all wired about my transness. And no matter how I do, how much I love you, no matter how much I give you, how much I give of myself, no matter how much I heal my community, there's gonna always be somebody who's going to kill us just for being us. And so to talk about it, it's always emotional. So, yeah, Don't Shoot is one of the most important songs that I feel like I have to offer to the world right now. Don't shoot. All over the world, don't black bodies shoot. and trans bodies don't are being shoot. violently killed. Don't shoot. If we don't say something, don't if we don't stand up, and say enough is enough. Don't shoot. They'll say we enjoy it. Don't shoot. Not your business, but I seen some shit. Got snatched up by my mom when I was six. I can still smell the smoke as a bullet mist. That's a lot for a kid. Had enough when I was 14 I ran away so I can foster my dreams But I didn't have the knowledge The streets was too much Mama just taught me I wasn't enough Your say, so you live it up Hard days, you never seen them love I'm not saying I'm the only one But damn, some days don't it feel like it And 
hands up, please don't shoot. We're living in a world where they can't take truth. They say they don't see color, but the blood stains show the proof. Don't shoot. Hands up, please don't shoot. Don't They'll say shoot. that you love it if your mouth stay mute. Don't they say they don't see color, but the blood stains show don't the proof. Shoot. Lock me up when I was 19. There goes my 20s and there goes my dreams. Put me on the yard and said, sacrifice the queen. That's a lot for a teen. Got so much when I was released. Kissed the grass under my feet. Modern slavery tried to get the best of me. That's a lot for anybody. You're safe, so you live it up. Hard days, you never seen them love. I'm not saying I'm the only one, but damn, some days don't it feel like it. Hands up, please don't shoot. We're living in a world where they can't take truth. They say they don't see color, but the blood stains show the proof. Don't shoot. Hands up, please don't shoot. They say that you love it if your mouth stay mute. They say they don't see color, but the blood stain show the proof. Ooh. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Don't shoot. Hey. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Now I'm sitting in my forties. What I need, I can't afford it. Butterflies on a red carpet. And there's a whole lot for me. Mm. And there's a whole lot for me. Yeah, yeah, oh. The inspiration in the backstory from I Am Her, um, it speaks about, you know, my identity. And I've always had the, the, the part of me that has identified as female, as feminine, to be attacked since I was very young. And so, again, this was a song that's a testament of my life. So it wasn't until I was incarcerated that I was able to actually write down those thoughts and to make it into a song. So again, being incarcerated in a man's institution for 10 years, you know, again, my femininity was under attack. So I dealt with that being under attack my whole life. I've been, I've had every Bible thrown at me that you can throw. And so I wanted to tell a story that encompasses the Bible and just how people objectify you and they demonize you for your sins, but James 2.10, a sin is a sin. And I wanted to express the fact that, you know, there is somebody in, in everybody's life that identifies like me, whether you know it or not, because of the wrath that that it is giving and, and that is put upon people, people won't tell you their truth. And so, again, they stay silent in their truth. They're afraid to come out to their parents. They're afraid to come out to their friends. And I wanted to to make a testament or, or of, of my own personal journey. And for me, I, it wasn't until I lost everybody that I found myself. And that's why I say um, I get along so well by my goddamn self. And I, I learned that I wouldn't be able to grow unless I nurtured myself like how I nurture people. And so everything I gave to people, I had to give it to myself and realize that I wasn't alone. I had to tell myself um, that I wasn't alone. And it was a message that I felt like the world needed to hear, especially those who were young like me and that really, really needed to hear that, needed that assurance. And I Am Her is just the testament to say in your face it is what it is i am who i am whether you like it or not and i'm still going to be good at the end of the day whether you're in my life or not now 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 
now, 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 there's an outcast in everybody's life, and I am her. I am her. There's a shadow when everybody's run door, when I am her. I am her. There's a dark cloud in everybody's sunlight, and I am her. I am her. Oh, you know I am her. I've been told I got so many issues and problems that I go through. Sometimes I can't sleep at night. If I hide my face, heaven forbid, it wouldn't be the worst thing that I ever did. It's a hell of a world that we're living in. James 2:10, a sin is a sin. Don't look at me immediately. And whisper behind my back thinking I'm naive It's my southern hospitality Tolerates more beers than even I can believe There's an outcast in everybody's life And I am her I am her There's a shadow when everybody's front door And I am her I am her there's a dark cloud in everybody's sunlight, and I am her. I am her. Oh, you know I am her. Your ignorance leaves a hell of a stench. The aroma lingers on generations I've known. And it ironic, the smarter we get, the less we understand about the simplest shit. Better say that. I am shame. Uh -huh. Is me, we get down with our bad selves figuratively. Don't care too much what other people say. I get alone, swear by my goddamn self. Never ask for no one's philosophy. It's obvious I'm proud of me. Yeah, yeah. There's an outcast in everybody's life, and I am her. There's a shadow when everybody's run door and I am her. I am her. There's a dark cloud in everybody's sunlight and I am her. I am her. Oh, you know I am her. Now, 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 now. So, um, this song is called American Pie. Um, American Pie speaks about us all having this one desire, this universal goal of just wanting a piece of American Pie. It's something that traditionally we've seen everywhere, the having the American dream. So we all have an idea of what it means, but it just means so much to people who don't have access to it. And so it speaks about seeing the pie and seeing everyone eat this amazing um, pie, which is the Mar American dream. They're living the American dream and you are, are living so far from that dream. And so it looks different for people like me who are trying to obtain that dream because of course society makes it harder for us to be able to obtain the same things that people can get easily or, you know, or, or is given to them easily. And I don't feel like, as a black trans woman, I've ever been able to have the point to where I can relax and enjoy even my success. And so it looks different. Our experiences look different. And um, American Pie, you know, I believe we all deserve that piece of American Pie. So that song was so important to put out because, I mean, we're all fighting each other. We're like uh, crabs in, in, in a barrel. And we're pulling each other down in order so we can get higher up. And I believe that there is room for of, uh, for us all to be successful and to have that piece of the American dream. I don't like antiques, I want something new. 
The world don't like no freaks coming in their rooms. But this beggar's got a right to choose. I'm not a stranger, I'm just like you. I need love, I don't need money After all these years, baby, I'm still running Who's gonna say my woman is not a need? Oh. I get looks that get so dirty After all these years, baby, it's still hurting Who's gonna say my woman is not a need? Just want my piece of the American pie. You got your slice, where is mine? Lick my fingers on this thing called life. Just a piece of the American pie. To break the chains of old beliefs, I'm the flame that you can't unsee. I don't like antiques, I want something new I got my dignity, gonna live my truth Like the southern smile I just can't lose Let my light sweep across the room You may laugh but it's not funny That's the thing that keeps me coming Who's gonna say my woman is not a need? Oh. All those looks that get so dirty lets me know that they're still learning. Who's gonna say my woman is not a need? Just want my piece of the American pie. You got your slice. Where is mine? Lick my fingers on this thing called life. Just a piece of the American pie. To break the chains of old beliefs. I'm the flame that you can't unsee. Oh. When they thought it was over hmm. They said sister still got something to say <laughs> Yeah honey I got lots more to say in these streets Whatever would what have you or what not in these streets hey. So with the rest of y'all Can y'all please join in For that demand of what we want Just want my peace American pie Just want my peace American pie Just want my peace American pie Oh shit, just want my peace. American pie. Just want my peace. American pie. Just want my peace. American pie. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my idea of happiness, of peace, would be able to have a relationship without society, society trying to break it down, without them objectifying people that love us. Uh, my idea of success would be um, getting on these transphobic ass, you know, airways and having my music played on the radio and having people listen to the music just because it's good and not by who, you know, came out with the song or how they identify or what they're wearing, or what their gender is. Good music deserve good slots. And I believe that if we're trying to change the world, we all have to do our own little part and that means that we have to be fair in music. Music can heal the world if given the opportunity. Is there anything else you would like to add? That's it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> give one.